Hi and welcome to our telehealth medicine information series. I'm Gavin and this video is on Eligard. So what is Eligard? Eligard or the chemical ingredient Luprolide overstimulates the body's own production of certain hormones which causes that production to shut down temporarily. Eligard reduces the amount of testosterone in men or estrogen in women. Eligard injectable suspension is used in men to treat the symptoms of prostate cancer and Eligard treats only the symptoms of prostate cancer and does not treat the cancer itself. So your symptoms may become temporarily worse when you first start using Eligard. Tell your doctor if this continues for longer than two months. Also call your doctor at once if you have a seizure or unusual changes in mood or behavior. Eligard is for use in males. Other brands of Eligard are used by women and do not use Eligard if you are pregnant. And before taking Eligard, you should not use Eligard if you are allergic to luprolide or similar medicines such as buserilin, gosserilin, and nafbarilin, or if you have abnormal vaginal bleeding that has not been checked by a doctor. To make sure Eligard is safe for you, tell your doctor if you have ever had depression, mental illness or psychosis, seizures or epilepsy, a brain tumour or blood vessel disorder, heart disease, congestive heart failure and a long QT syndrome an electrolyte imbalance, so this would be such as low potassium or magnesium in your blood, or if you have risk factors for bone loss. So Eligard usually causes women to stop ovulating or having menstrual periods. However, you may still be able to get pregnant. So use a barrier form of birth control. Hormonal contraception may not be effective enough to prevent pregnancy during treatment. How should you use Eligard? So Eligard injectable suspension is injected under the skin once every month or once every three to six months. You may be shown how to use injections at home. Do not give this medicine to yourself if you do not understand how to use the injection and properly dispose of needles and syringes. Follow all directions on your prescription label and read all medication guides or instruction sheets. Use the medicine exactly as directed. You store Eligard in the refrigerator, do not freeze it. You may also store Eligard in its original packaging at room temperature for eight weeks. You use a needle and syringe only once and then place them in a puncture proof sharps container. So what happens if you miss a dose? If this happens, then you call your doctor immediately for instructions on what to do. The Eligard side effects. So first, you get emergency help if you have signs of an allergic reaction to Eligard. These would be hives, difficulty breathing or swelling in your face or throat. Or if you get a severe skin reaction, so it would be sore throat or burning in your eyes. Also call your doctor at once if you have bone pain, loss of movement in any part of your body, swelling, rapid weight gain, if you had a seizure, unusual changes in mood or behaviour, and sudden chest pain or discomfort. And rare but serious side effects may occur. And call your doctor if you get pain or unusual sensations in your back, numbness, weakness or tingly feeling in your legs or feet, muscle weakness or loss of use, loss of bowel or bladder control, and heart attack symptoms such as chest pain, and which would be spreading down your shoulder. Also common Eligard side effects include hot flashes, sweating, acne, rashes, itching, and scaly skin mood changes, headache, vaginal swelling, itching or discharge, breakthrough bleeding and weight gain. 
So what other drugs will affect Eligard? Eligard can cause a serious heart problem, especially if you use certain medicines at the same time, such as antibiotics, antifungal medicines, antidepressants, anti-malaria medicines, asthma inhalers, antipsychotic medicines, cancer medicines, certain HIV medicines, heart or blood pressure medicine, or medicine to prevent vomiting. So tell your doctor about all your current medicines and any medicines you start or stop using while taking this treatment. So precautions with Eligard. Do not take aspirin or products containing aspirin unless your doctor specifically permits this. Tell your doctor if you are pregnant or may be pregnant prior to starting this treatment. And for both men and women, do not conceive a child while using Eligard or the Luprolide. And do not breastfeed while using this medicine. And some self-care tips. If you are experiencing hot flashes, wear light clothing, stay in a cool environment and put cool cloths on your head. And this may reduce symptoms. So talk to your doctor if these symptoms worsen or become intolerable. You should avoid sun exposure. So use sun factor 15 or higher. In general, drinking alcoholic beverages should be kept to a minimum or avoided altogether. Also get plenty of rest and maintain good dietary nutrition. So regarding monitoring and testing Eligard, you will be checked regularly by your doctor while you are taking Eligard to monitor side effects and check your response to therapy. Periodic blood work to monitor your complete blood count as well as the function of other organs such as kidneys and liver may also be ordered by your doctor. So that brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below or contact us through our website mytelehealth.info or call to Lynch's Pharmacy Douglas Cork ring 0214-366-6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.